We've clawed our way out of the relegation zone in two big matches today. Copa Italia and action in the league. Let's get back to Project Palermo. Welcome to Project Palomo. It's your old mate DP here in the DP Dome and we have two big matches today for you. One against Juventus in the Copa Italia and then Bologna in Serie A. And we are in 14th place on 22 huge points. More points than games played. That is important. But Juventus, who will play first up today, are on 40 points from 20 matches and are in third place in Serie A, which is Kind of terrifying. Some weird stuff has gone on since you were here. If you have a look at uh, young Mattia Moscone here, you'll notice he scored a goal for the first time in 13 appearances. It was a bit mad. Uh, that happened in the last match against Cagliari. A 1-0 victory. We scraped and clawed and fought all the way in 89th minute winner with an assist from Benori. The shape was all messed up and crazy because we'd push people forward just trying to get a win. You can see we were never, ever really in this game. We were absolutely awful. 20 shots from Cagliari, 5 on target, next XG of 2.95. We had 48% possession, an XG of 0.81, 2 shots on target from 8 in total. We were awful, and we've FM'd Cagliari's faces off, and I'm absolutely here for it. I don't have a problem. Off the back of that, uh, in terms of lineup today, we'll have a look at the team. I may have gone a bit mad, but I don't really care about Copa Italia, to be honest. I'm not fussed. We've already achieved our goal in that competition. So that being the case, oh, Volpato is injured and Chiquinho is still away on international duty. That's a bit of a problem. But our lineup to face Juventus Fructal in goal, who has been phenomenal. He's just, he's a machine. Uh, really kept us in that game against Cagliari, obviously. Dal, Cecharoni, Velukovic and Parazzi are our backline. Blin and Segre in midfield because I believe uh, Renakia, I thought he was suspended, but he's not. He was suspended, though, and that was an issue. Uh, Saidi, Vasic and Salcedo. Salcedo gets a nod on the right-hand side of midfield because of that injury to Mr. Volpato. And then Moscone's going to play up front because he scored a football goal, and why the hell not? Uh, if he can get another one, that would be delicious. If he doesn't, meh, I don't care. It's the Copa Italia. But we want to see how we measure up against one of the best teams in Italy. That is Juventus. I'm a little bit scared. This is going to hurt. We do owe Juventus after what happened in their last match. So go out there and get revenge. Oh, they love it. They love a bit of revenge, these boys. And hopefully we can do exactly that. Full disclosure, I have absolutely no hope whatsoever of a victory here. If we can pull one out, it would be amazing. They've got Turam, they've got a guy called Robbie, all a bit scary. And we've got our nameless, faceless zeros. Well, they have names, but they're all faceless. And that's fine. They don't need to have faces to do their wacky jobs. I'm just going to move the microphone. So if you hear a big boom or something crazy, then that's what that's all about. And here we go, we're in the white shirts, Juventus are in their Juventus shirts, which makes sense because if they were wearing Palermo shirts, it'd be a bit weird. Salcedo, just coming back from injury, lays it off to Perotti, bursts inside, crosses it, and Moscovini's in there and scored his second goal of the season. He's on fire, he's lighting up the league. He's actually won a couple of awards, as I'm assuming, because it's all in Italian, because I've added the, the name fix to the game but he's one what I am presume is young player of the month with match ratings of like 6.5 so he may well be the youngest player in the league and that's why he's taking it out because everyone else in Syria is an old man it's entirely possible but Blin with a shot from miles out forcing a save from the Juventus keeper and we're looking all right early on this is crazy what is happening Dahl crosses it in and no joy from the corner, but here's Moscone now, outside, finds Walu, who was probably fouled there, but the refs let it go, the highlight ends. Four shots, four on target, an XG of one, but I suspect now that Juventus have got an attacking highlight, it's probably time that the universe uh, writes itself, and we have to take our medicine. But we've won the ball back, good work from Dahl, laying it off to Cecharoni, lays it back safely to Fructu. Walu now with the ball out to Saidi, who we don't want to do 
anything stupid. Jacaroni now back to Fructal, up to Walu. Ventus are pressing us pretty high, and we're struggling to get it out of our final third. Blin lays it off and is absolutely ruined there, and that's an easy goal for Juventus. It was always coming. We were never going to hang on to a 1-0 lead, but we will encourage the boys. That was just poor work at the bat. No one presenting as an option, and... Yeah, that's a poor pass from Blin. Blin has been doing my head in the last few matches. Full disclosure, I'm toying with the idea of just whacking him on the transfer list. He's been super inconsistent and doing things like that on the reg. And I don't know why. He should be able to play the role that we're asking of him uh, in that midfield position. And it just doesn't seem to be working. I much prefer Ranokia or Ranokia to Blin. But Blin got the nod today. So, obviously, I'm not that distraught about what he's been up to. And he's done well there to win the ball, just to make me look like a right wally. Ciccaroni now lays it back and is trying his darndest to give away a goal there. That was terrifying. And that's an easy one. What is going on? Was he offside? I don't think so. This goal is going to get given because it's football manager and it's just trying to build some drama. But we all know it's about to say goal allowed. Hey, goal disallowed. Something went our way. All right. I'm just being proved wrong all over the place. But this was, I mean, it wasn't even, yeah, that guy was offside when the pass was played. Fair enough. Take your word for it. Can we get the ball out of our own half, please? That would be, I'd, I'd, take, I'd take that just as much as winning the game at this point. Segue now. Over the screen. Salcedo's in and Salcedo's fired wide. If he was fit, that was probably going in. A really good opportunity goes begging for us. And we are on top. Of Juventus in this game. We're just looking very, very shaky at the back, and it vexes me. I'm vexed. I'm greatly vexed by this situation. But again, like Juventus are just quality all the way around. And that was way too easy. They've just walked that in. Oh my goodness. So they started in first gear and then they've just shifted up to fourth, apparently, and we're being well and truly outclassed in our own back line. Very sad. And now Saisado's injured again. That's just fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen in this scenario. Masao can come on for him, who's not fully fit, which is also just perfect, just ideal. Really need Volpato fit again, even though he's not been great either. Uh, I'm not happy with your performance. Show them what we got in the second half. Uh, your defensive performance has been woeful, and I'm not a happy man. Keep going, and keep going. What's going on? 7.4, though. <laughs> so, you know, we got that going for us. Here's Vasic, giving the ball away. Brilliant. We keep getting caught in defence, and we're supposed to be playing with a low defensive line. We're not pressing high, we're not playing with a crazy high line, but we just keep getting caught. And I don't know what to do about it. I don't know how to fix it. I've tried dropping defensive mids back. It's had absolutely no impact. If anything, it's made it worse. And this just pulled out of shape. Shots coming in from everywhere. I don't know what to do. If you have a look at our out of possession, we're playing with a low block, playing with a standard defensive line. Maybe we push it up a little bit, higher line, and spread this out a little bit more to a mid block. Mm. I don't know, we're dropping off, maybe we turn that off. We'll give it a try and see if it makes any kind of difference at all. Vasic just has not turned up today. Saidi's been pretty ordinary. Blin, as usual, not lighting my fire, so he can come off and Ranokia can come on. And uh, Saidi really hasn't pressed me, so Brunori can come on for him. And I don't know what else to do, really. Why are you playing as an advanced playmaker? I'd like you to be an attacking midfielder, please, and thank you. And is this any better to swap these guys around? No. Why are you playing as a central mid? It's not what I want you to do. I want you to be a box-to-box -box midfielder. Confirm those changes. Maybe that's part of the problem. Everybody's playing in the wrong role, and I haven't been paying attention. It's entirely possible. Do we just go attacking? Let's just go attacking. Bugger it. On Courage, we need to make a change because Vasic is shattered. If we take him off, 
and let me think here. Let's bring on this guy, Matthias Mankiw. So he's a high potential youngster. You've not met him before. I brought him up from the youth team. He's a bit rubbish, but he's got decent potential. Wanted another body to throw at midfield. And the January transfers, which we'll talk about after this match, have not been going to plan. Uh, so we drop him in there. We maybe move Brunori up here. Drop Mankiw. So back into midfield. Push Marcel over there. I mean, that looks all right, doesn't it? There's not, not too much wrong with that. Everybody happy with, with what we've done there, with our work? I think it's all right. Probably don't need two box-to-box -box midfielders, though. That seems extreme. Why don't we make you a little bit of a Mazala on support? And you can just sit on defend and do defendy things, and we'll see what happens. Just try to clog up that midfield and get some joy while we're on attack. Everyone's been... Encouraged. We've done nothing in this second half, by the way. We've been completely toothless and Ventus have just over on us. Let's go very attacking, see if we can pinch a draw. Why not? But if we get knocked out, we get knocked out. And uh, Moscone got another goal. So I'll take that as a positive. We could have done without the hit to dynamics, but what are you going to do? Vasic is a problem. I don't think he's good enough for this level, to be honest. He's been developing. And he's been doing okay. We get 350 grand for our efforts there. And now Sarsede's out for an extended period. Three to five weeks. He's just come back. We're going to send Renzo Malanka out on loan for minus $1 every month. But that takes some pressure off the, the wage budget, which is nice. Now, as promised, before we move on, transfers. Moving out. Uh, Milanka is going out on loan. Uh, Dimitri Nikolaou is possibly going back to Greece on loan because I've not used him all season. And this is one of the youth team who's also uh, in the ver or on the verge of sodding off. This guy is just a rando that our director of football wants to bring in, but we're doing no other business because we've got a million pounds in the kitty and we're over our wage budget. So I need to move some of that over there to try and resolve this issue the loans will help bring that down hopefully but we're a bit stuffed and loan wise there's not a lot out there that is going to help us or improve us to be honest so yeah looking at the plays we've scouted there's a lot around there's a whole bunch that potentially could make a difference but we won't be able to fit them in the squad because they're either too old or they know better than what we've already got that being said this guy's a right winger, not really positions we need. It's more midfield and height, potentially, up front. Although now the strikers are scoring, it's kind of a non-issue. Not going to do anything right now between this and the next game, but if we do, I'll let you know. In the meantime, sit tight, and when we come back, we will face Bologna, hopefully pick up another three points in the league. So it's just about game time, but we've got a signing in that I wanted to show you. It's not earth shattering but uh from Bayern Munich Paul Vonner is coming in a 21 year old attacking midfielder uh C plus rating for him a useful squad option apparently we'll just ask Fruit to, to to welcome him in give him a cuddle potentially Serie A standard he's not quite there yet but I just want another option to to Vasic he can play central midfield as well he can do that just fine uh can give us some cover out on the right wing which he might need to but he looks decent and uh, he's played some games for Bayern. He's played for the second team. He's played for Heidenheim and Paderborn and done pretty well. So he could be useful for us. In other news, bit of an injury crisis. Uh, Segre's out with a cold. He should be right for the match tomorrow. Hopefully, if not, probably Mancuso is going to have to start. The young one I was telling you about in the last episode. Eddie Salcedo, as discussed, is injured. Renokia, here are the suspensions that I remembered. Renokia is out. He's suspended because of too many yellow cards. Velukovic or Walu, he's out, suspended because of too many yellow cards. Merkin Dali, he's come down ill. He's at home with a cold. He's out for this match, which is the same for Segre. Hopefully, he'll be back in time. We can put Wana into the squad. And yeah, it's, a, it's all a bit of a mess at the moment. We'll be starting young Marcel Ratnik, a 23-year-old Slovenian who has 
played a little bit off the bench, usually covering right back for us when we're super desperate. But today he's going to be playing as a centre-back. He'd like to be a wide centre-back. We don't use those. So he's going to have to come in and help us out. But yes, it's all gone a little bit wrong. Didn't take long at all, but another signing I was working on is coming in. But also the board just asked for a meeting to discuss increasing the available transfer budget. And I've said, yes, please, I'll take more money. So they've done that. And the transfer budget's been increased to 800 grand. So not really. And we've barely got any wage budget there because loans have come in. Hugo Sotelo is a 23-year-old midfielder coming in on loan from Inter, yeah, that Inter. We're paying a monthly fee for it, which isn't ideal. 12 grand of his wages. Uh, we'll accept this and get it over the line. Uh, will he be here in time for the match? I'm not sure, but he looks very good. He can help us out at right wing. He can help us out attacking mid. He can help out defensive mid, help out in the center of the park, which we desperately need. And he's been playing for Inter. He's played a couple of matches. He's done fine. 14 appearances in total. Lots of yellow. He's got a nice big circle. He's not much of an attacker but if we can get him in there and help shore things up defensively that would be delightful there he is there's what he's done sold to fortuna in spain he's had a 7.25 season not bad so uh we'll continue on and then get into this game usually i'd stop here and we'd just cut to the match but since it's not far away we'll just let the game do its spinny thing and then we'll jump in. How are you doing? There we go. B minus for Hugo Sotelo. He is in. We'll ask Fructal to welcome him and give him a pat on the head. We'll assign him a squad number. He's a bit older, so he's going to have to be registered into the squad, which hopefully is going to be okay if we just go auto select now. And he can come in. One doesn't have to be registered because he's under 22. Same with Mancuso. Estevez doesn't. And yep, yeah, that all looks good. No one important seems to be missing out lovely lovely stuff so we'll confirm that as it is Volpato should be dropped by Australia yeah I'm not inclined to argue with that with his 6.75 rating but what are you going to do plus his injuries it hasn't been good times and Volpato still not fully fit so he's not starting in this game but let's have a look at the finalized squad or semi-finalized squad because Hugo Sotelo is coming straight in and given that Segre was... Well, actually, I'm going to drop Blin and Zotello's going to come straight into the team because I, I just can't deal. And he can be a deep-lying playmaker on defend uh, because that's his preferred role. So, squad for this game. Fruit to Lingold, Dial, Ciccaroni, Ratnik at centre-back, which again, oh, it, it hurts. It hurts me a lot to have to do that. I guess I could play Ciccaroni, but then I don't... All I've got is Estevez to play out on the right, and that's even worse. I could play Ratnik out there, but it's no better. Anyway, Ratnik and Perotti at uh, at right back. Sotelo, Newboy, and Segre in the centre of midfield. Saidi, Wana, Newboy, Wana, and Marcel make up the midfield three in the attacking sense. And Brunori right up front for us. Let's submit the team and see how we go against Bologna. They are higher than us in the league. I think they're in eighth. If we win, we could go as high as 11th and leapfrog a bunch of teams. But after the drubbing and lesson we were taught by Juventus about our hubris, uh, I don't like our chances. But let's see what happened. On that note, given the ropey form we've been in and some of the results, I've been pondering, what do I do with this save if I get sacked? because at times it's felt like a distinct possibility. And I think the save just ends and we do something different until FM25. I have pondered, well, maybe I'd take up with one of their rivals and try to ruin uh, ruin Palomo for their hubris. But it's Project Palomo, not Destroy Palomo. So I can't really do that. I think we'll just call it the day, chalk it up as a failure, and we'll revisit Palomo in FM25 if we do get ousted from our job. Uh, the other thing on that note that is interesting, despite the ropey results and the horrible run of form we've had uh, earlier in the season, the board gave me a new contract. They extended me out. Uh, I can't remember how long it is, but it was a slight pay increase and I bit their arm off. I'm like, if you're that happy with me to offer me a, a newer contract, then yeah, by all means, let's go. Uh, so that was surprising. <laughs> 
given everything else that's been going on. Dahl with a strong challenge there. I thought he'd given away a penalty given it was in the area, but we've got away with it. Segre now with the ball, back to Ratnik. I'm not sure if the highlight's going to end or if we're going to do something really dumb and just give away a goal. But the highlight just ends. We're on the back foot. Bologna have got more possession, which is annoying because we're at home and we're yet to have a shot. Uh, I will encourage the team. I'm not going to yell at them just now. Why is Brunori bravely getting in front of a shot? The commentary just said. He's a striker. That's not his job at all. Can we please do something productive in this match? We are getting spanked. They're all over us. Right, Segre now, having a run. Back from his cold. He's fixed his sniffles and he's back in action for us. We've given the ball away there. Porosi just about gets their first Ratnik now over to Ceccaroni. Bearing in mind, this is a very makeshift defence, which is not a good thing for us. Uh, that's a foul. So he's been fouled in the box there by Gustafsson. And hopefully we're about to get a penalty and to take a, a lead we don't deserve. But Brunori has missed a penalty recently, which annoyed me no end. But we'll see if he can convert this one. He cannot. And that's just horrible. Brunori has not been the man this season at all. Certainly not the player we saw in the back end down in Serie B last season. Uh, really disappointing. I think four goals in total in this campaign, which is just not enough for a striker. And now his match rating has absolutely tanked because uh, he's missed a penalty and you can't do that as a striker and football manager. Um, we haven't taken nearly enough shots. Uh, attackers, I'm not happy with your finishing. Midfielders, I'm not happy with your playmaking efforts and defenders, you weren't that bad, but you can do better. And we do need to do better. Let's get you off this deep lying forward thing that I've been experimenting with and make you an attacker. The idea there is just to try to link up the striker with the midfield a little bit more uh, and get something creative happening. Here's Wanner, a first look at him. And right idea, but a poor ball in the end. I don't really blame him for that. I blame Brunori on his 6.1 because he's just gonna play like rubbish. I'm basically just killing time to bring Moscone in because amazingly he's in form and we've gone one more down. So the time to make that change is right now because Bernardo's not going to be able to turn this around for us at all. I don't really know what else to do. The defence has been okay. Uh, everyone else is all right. It's just this part of the team is not working. The attack isn't working. Yes, proceed with the tactical changes. Yes, we are going to go attacking because that's what we do when we panic. And we're going to go down. Uh, do, do, do. Let's get the ball out of there. Trading up to Moscone. He's already taken the pitch and we managed to keep possession. But make a bit of a meal of that. Let's encourage the boys. We've got to get back into this game. We can't afford to drop these points. We just can't. And I don't know what else to do. Marcel's tiring. And I don't have anyone else really who can play right wing. So Vipato is going to have to come on, even though he's just back from injury. Perotti is exhausted. Estevez is going to come on. Even though he's not fully fit, this is all just going a bit wrong. Uh, Segre can come off for Blint. Let's just throw him on. And you know what, Wanna, You haven't been great either. So Vasic is going to come on for you. That's all our changes. We've freshened everything up. Some fresh legs. Got a lot of tired bodies from all these quick turnarounds and playing a lot of football and probably not making enough substitutions or rotating enough, but let's encourage the team and just try to make something happen. Let's just go very attacking. There's 15 minutes left. We've got to do something. Come on, boys. Come on now. This is just poor. I know they're higher in the, in the league than us, but we're at home, and you're embarrassing yourselves. Right. Kick off for them. So... Potentially an attacking highlight, given that I've said it's very attacking and opened us up considerably. But if we can win the ball back, given that we're very attacking, it could be a highlight for us. Here's Blinn shooting for miles out and just blazes wide. That was absolutely pointless. Don't even know where you show me a highlight for that one game. I mean, blown yet, deserve their win. They've played us off the park. We've just been rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Too many changes, maybe. Just, I'm far from pleased. What was that? Abysmal. I'm not starting Brunori in the next match. So there we go. Uh, we dropped points in the league again, but we're still four points clear of Monza down in 15th. 
bit of a gap between us and the relegation places. So it's not a disaster necessarily, but we are going to have to play Lazio next in the league. We're at home. Based on that performance, we're in for more pain. We don't really have anything to celebrate here, but we are going to drop in a match review. Why doesn't it put match review in automatically? And given that we've got new players, we're going to set them up with some go-kart racing for team bonding and we'll go to a school and have a jolly good F about, as Roy Keane said in Ted Lasso. Right, so the transfer window, not long left in that. There might be a little bit more business, but I doubt it. I'm trying desperately to find a right back and having absolutely no joy because the loan fees are horrendous and terrifying. I think what we might do is come back and have a look at, even though we've already played them this season, uh, what do we want to see? Let's just get through a chunk of games and see what happens. Eh? I, I, like It's going to get old really fast just to sit here and watch us get battered by everybody who's better than us. But everybody's better than us. So let's go get a bunch of games under our belt. We'll play Sassuolo and Udinese, who I don't think you've seen yet. See how we go with those two games. And then we'll end the season with Fiorentina and Monza and see if we can get a result there. That sounds like a plan. But if you've enjoyed that episode, or even if you haven't, hit the like button or the dislike button if there is one haven't checked youtube for a little while i don't know what buttons are there but definitely hit subscribe so you don't miss the next huge episode with those games leave a comment let me know what you think and until next time i shall see you next time say hi to your mum for me and be good if you can't be good don't get caught Alemo!